Old School 105.3, Charlotte's home for old school. It's Old School 105.3, Olympia D. And I've been telling you guys about sundress and mimosa Sundays that go down each and every Sunday night at the Rock Jazz Bar. And this Sunday, July the 16th, we have none other than Buff Dillard. How are you doing? I'm doing just fine. Thanks for having me. So talk to me. You got the brand new album out. It's called Feel My Passion. Yes. And I've been following you for years now. We've been very good <laughs> friends for years. Yeah, and I've seen him on the circuit. And Buff, you're doing some great things. So talk Thank to me about you. this brand new Thank album. You. Well, the album is, of course, like you said, called uh, Feel My Passion. Uh -huh. um, first of all, we'll start with that title. How about that? Mm -hmm. um, it came from fans, actually, um, for years. They've always told always told me that I play with a lot of passion. Um, I get lost in my music. I go to a, another place, mm -hmm. and um, and that's what brings on the passion. I mean, I just really feel every note. Um, this album is really about dreams coming true. It's mm -hmm. about love, happiness, and um, hope. You know, it's supposed to give people hope. There's some lyrics in there. All of them encouraging. It's a positive. Uh, albums, positive music is all my music, um, but I think that people are really, they're already loving it. First time ever, four city mm -hmm. uh, release. Okay. Uh, we did Greenville, South Carolina. We're in Charlotte this weekend, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Yay. <laughs> yeah, Sunday. And um, then we're hitting Durham the end of this month and Columbia, South Carolina. Okay, so you're going to be at a pretty good run. Yeah. Take me back to the very first time you touched the trombone. Oh my gosh. It was Tell too, me when you fell in love. When I fell in love. <laughs> <laughs> well, I started out as a drummer, so you're about right. Really? Um, yeah, I started out as a drummer at uh, six years old. Okay. Um, musical family, strong background in music, uh, professionally. And um, my baby uncle, my dad's baby brother, I call him my baby uncle, mm -hmm. he plays trombone and he played trombone. Older brother that had a band, Moses Dillard and the Syndicate. But he left there and went out on the road with Peebo. And okay. he finished his musical career with Peebo Bryson. He played the trombone and I just fell in love with it. Um, not to mention that it was the key instrument in my dad's church. Um, picked it up, started playing around the house, but I did not start playing music um, and reading music and writing music until the um, 11th grade. Mm -hmm. Moved to Philly and um, they found out I could play. I was not even playing it, but I was still playing drums in the band at the school. Mm -hmm. And um, they found out I could play the trombone and the rest is history. It's like they put me out there on the bone because I was doing something nobody else was doing with it. So why not the saxophone? Because you know, the saxophone is real sexy. The trombone, yeah, you know, yeah, all right. Yeah. But why not the saxophone? <laughs> Thanks a lot. No, no, no but I mean, you, make, no, the, but you right. make the trombone sound like a saxophone. You're right, you're right. I, it is. I, I wanted to play sax. My dad played sax with um, James Brown, Tina Turner, and Otis Redding before okay. becoming a minister. Um, and I wanted to play sax, but he would allow me to play his sax and he wouldn't teach me. Um, and like I said, you know, just fell up under my uncle Daniel Dillard and uh, just turned, just wanted to do something different, go against the grain. Mm -hmm. Everybody wanted to play sax, even in the bands, uh, in school band, marching band, jazz band, it doesn't matter. Um, but I wanted to go, I wanted to do something different. I always knew that I was created to do something different and bring something to light that, you know, that's unexpected. Mm -hmm. And over the course of 30 plus years, we've been able to do that. To make a de uh, have a demand for, you know, this this craft. Now talk to me about growing up in a musical family. Everybody sounds like they're talented. You uh, talked about your uncle. You uh -huh. talked about your dad, Otis mm -hmm. Redding, being on stage with James Brown. Uh, yeah. How hard was it for you to take this seriously and say, you know what, I'm <laughs> going, I'm going to compete with the big dogs like my dad and my uncle. It was, um, it was never a dream. Um, it was never a dream. It's just something that fell in my lap and it just happened. Mm -hmm. um, wow, I, I can't tell you. It's, I think as a kid, you know, seeing it all, I was never just wild and I've never been starstruck um, growing up. But I saw what they were doing and I, I developed a love for it. I, I was already doing it when I found out that I could make a living doing it. Mm, that's when things <laughs> change, when you know you can get some that's money. That's when things change. <laughs> um, I graduated from uh, Martin Luther King Jr. High School in Philadelphia, same high school that Pieces of a Dream came out of. So mm -hmm. I was able to play with those guys in Grover, mm -hmm. Washington, with Marseille, some of the big names. And um, in newspapers in Philly, Harris, you know, in that area of Pennsylvania. But I never took it real serious. Um, I was like, just having fun. Right. Um, then after I graduated, moved south, 
came down here, went to, went to school, didn't go to school for music. Parents didn't want me to do that. Um, That's unusual because you right? came from a musical family, so they, they yep. didn't want you to well, do that? Well, because of their experiences. Okay. And, and, and rock and roll back then was... Wild and crazy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, Drugs, sex, and money. Yeah, that's it. Mm -hmm. So, you know, they didn't want me to fall into that and they called themselves protecting their only son. Right. And um, I, I knew I was destined, you know, to, to I was going to end up doing it anyway. Didn't know I was going to have my own label, my own business. Didn't know about all that, but I was kind of forced into that because nobody believed in the trombone. Mm -hmm. um, you know, you, you shop, you put your uh, demos out there. People hear, oh, the trombone, and they turn, they get that lip, they turn that lip up. Because, you know, the trombone is not traditionally nope. sexy, but nope. you make it sound well, sexy. thank you. Oh. Yeah, but hold on. You <laughs> give us some of that sexiness real quick. Come on now. Don't. See how they you freeze up? You put them on a spot, they freeze up. Come Why on are you now. calling it sexy? I'll tell you what. It is. You do make it, you make the trombone sound almost like a saxophone. I, well, I, I can honestly I, I say I that. I study the human voice. Right. I don't listen to other musician horn players. I don't okay. listen and I've never trained that way. I've always listened to Patti LaBelle, Michael Jackson, um, Teddy Pendergrass, and I mimic their vocals mm -hmm. in their, in that, their uh, uh, all, that, all that. I can't do it. Okay, you did it. No, right up. Right up. But yeah, I mimic, I mimic that with the horn and okay. it, it grabs, it, it gets attention. Okay. So I'm going to do it. Let me see. I'm going to do a little bit of a song okay. for you. Okay. on Sunday. I'm excited. We're doing some songs from the album mm -hmm. and um, I think everybody's going to love it. We're going to we're going to we're going to do it. We're going to have a real nice set. Real nice time encouraging everybody to come out. All right. So, you know, the people want to know what can they expect? You know, um, I'm going to have I'm going to go bring my four piece band. OK. Um, all the musicians that are musicians that have agreed to come. Um, they are on the album. Um, Brian House mm -hmm. is my drummer. Charlton Taylor will be on keys, and Paul Dozier will be on bass. Okay, who's another international artist? I always give him his props. Um, but yeah, we're gonna do some songs from the previous album, Mr. Bone Jazz, and we'll do some songs on this album. Um, uh, feel my passion and, and here is the new like, album right here yeah. feel my passion yeah. it's the album release party going down this sunday july the 16th at rocks jazz bar with D buff dillard and his crew is that what, what we're calling them <laughs> buff dillard music group is cool okay that's fine buff yeah. dillard music group so make sure you come out this sunday again rocks jazz bar um we'll be out there starting at 2 p.m but your set will actually start at six. at six so people you have time to go to church you know do some things with the family yeah. and they come out and enjoy the album release party so i'm excited about it i can't so wait to see I. you nah, i can't wait all right and like you can join us don't forget this sunday july the 16th at rocks jazz bar with me olympia d and buff dillard Old School 105.3, Charlotte's home for old school.